What's up guys, your boy Freddy back with another video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Project Tour Garage video. Make sure to like, subscribe, let's get this channel to at least 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also guys, if you don't know yet, we are giving away this badass 2017 Silverado on airbags and 26 inch intro wheels. And if you want to get entered, the link... Yeah. Okay, tell them, Cammy. Tell them, get entered on the giveaway. All right guys, so like I said, the first comment has the link to the website and every $10 you spend right now, this week only gives you 20 entries to win this truck or $20,000 cash. Like, subscribe, and yeah, thumbs guys. Thanks for watching. Final de la agencia. Ahí lo tenemos, dame. Oh, ahí está. Es el original, no creo que es... No, sí, ya vi. Ese sí, la, 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 esta sí es aftermarket, pero ese sí es una más que se lo ocupan. Parece que este para meterla se lo ocupa para comprar uno. Sí, hay unas tuercas que ah, llevan ah, Yo pensé que venían con, cuando las compré, pensé que venían con el S, pero no, no. Ahí está, sorry, man, por la. ¿Tiene una vuelta? No, pues como que ya no sé, tan pesos, es que. Nada. Vale, ¿cómo no va a traer bocinas? Trae por Twitter. Nada más para que salga ruidito. A ver. Alright guys, so what we're doing right now, this truck doesn't have any kind of sound system or any type of any kind of sound. So Vargas took off the original stereo he wanted to put a replacement stereo, one that we had laying around from a previous truck that we did a, a stereo swap. Right now this truck only has two speakers right here on the pillars, but we really don't need them. This is not gonna be a sound truck or nothing. This is a race truck, so we're not gonna put no uh, speakers here. Uh, that should be good for now. As long as they have a little bit of noise, that way whenever we're waiting on the, on the starting line to raise the truck, we can play a little jam, just to get motivated. Just, just, just a little bit. A cual? no le jala? All right, guys. So what we got here? This is my 1984 Chevy C10. Uh, frame now we did take this frame apart. We took the whole truck apart. This truck was running. It was good I blew up the engine and we decided to go with the whole new setup and with going with the new setup We decided to go get a brand new suspension setup for this one Which is gonna be from QA1 now uh, we didn't want to install the badass QA1 suspension on this truck with the rusty frame so what we did we took the whole truck apart we took apart the suspension everything else and uh, we sent it off to get powder coated so we took it to the powder coat they sandblasted it did a very nice job powder coating big shout out to pop exclusive for taking us with the guy that does his frames and uh, now it's just time to start putting everything back together as of right now the kit's still not here they did tell me it's gonna be here by the end of march which is probably next week uh but for now we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the stock suspension put it back on the suspension that it was on here just so we can start putting things back on this truck like the motor the cab the bed and uh eventually when we get the the qa1 system we'll take it back apart and put it together again so that's the plan it did have a 6.0 at one point motor that i blew up lasted us a long long time we took this truck to sema and uh it was running perfectly. I messed around, I did something stupid and I blew up the engine. But now we're gonna replace it with an even better motor. It's gonna be a 6.0, but it is bore out to a 370, which makes it, it's bore, it's bored out 30 over, which makes it a 370. It does have forged pistons and rods, which will hold more, it will, it will hold more power and more uh, torture, which is what we're gonna be doing to this truck. So here it is, it's a, it's a frame, and uh, Vargas and Darwin are doing a very good job taking it apart and putting it back together. And soon it will be up and running again. This guy's gonna die. <laughs> so, no, but straight up, if you had an exhaust fan in here, it would suck all that hot air out the top. Yeah, but an exhaust fan costs money and we ain't got it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you gotta save money, Keith. Mm -hmm. Right now that it's hot, we're gonna wait, and then when it starts getting cool again, we'll put the exhaust fan, that yeah. way we can have air circulating. But for now, I think, yeah, yeah, look. Yeah, this right here, This right here is boring ass it's gonna blow you away. What's up with my This, this only set the first setting, bro. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a low setting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, baby. that was the last setting. Maybe it was the yeah. high setting. It's going out. I gotta get a new one. Working on Vargas's truck, trying to get all the uh, little beauty panels wrapped and 
vinyl and stuff like that so it'll look pretty i got the console wrapped i got the beauty panels on top wrapped i got the ports painted i got the brace put in so just a little little small stuff right now just gotta get done so these are the side panels these go on the sides of the box so i'm just gonna get some vinyl and uh, start spraying some adhesive so that way i can wrap these panels in some black vinyl to make it look pretty just dog. kidding we eating right yeah. now we ain't doing nothing we about to eat dog uh, right now I'm about to put the wheels back on the differential and slap the differential back on the frame so we can move it around. Uh, the whole front suspension did the control arms, upper and lower, and uh, the gearbox and the tie rod ends. That's pretty much it on that one. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it out. So I got a stuff to do and then the see Yeah, I'm just taking everything out. This you see this whole thing? Like the heater core and uh, all those things for the AC. I'm gonna just take them, take them out because uh, we need we need more space down here because later on we need to put the uh holy so we can the wiring harness the hol the holly wiring harness yeah we're trying to make uh you know space for later on all this is, uh, stuff is you know a little bit of weight reduction too so that's what we're doing right now you guys have the holly wiring harness right now or what no we just need to place the order we got some but it's for the green machine you know oh, we okay. got that one a holly harness too but uh, for this one we need to order yeah we're waiting on them Wrapping the edges around so that way when you put it on you don't see any seams. Trim all the extra and then I can put them in the truck. John Cena! <laughs> okay, so this is the header, the passenger side. I'm gonna have to make a hole right here. For the Westgate, we're gonna install the Westgate tube over here. It's gonna be like six inches from the back housing of the turbo. So that's that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna make a hole right here. Inch and three quarters hole. Yep. We already finished with the cold side. All the cold side is done. The cold side is all titanium. Like I told you before. That's the driver's side. We already have the charge pod and the other, the passenger side. Cold side, it's right here. Punchy.
Here, a new one. Yeah, a new one? What size is this? One and three quarters. Yes, I said. It's gonna be one and three quarters. One and three quarters. We're gonna need to go get a new drill bit. Yeah, we're gonna try it one more time and see if it's good or not. Quick, quick, quick. I guess we're gonna have to take a break. Let's go. Let's go to Home Depot. Home Depot? Yeah. Uh, that way. Okay. I mean, you could have gone that way too. What are you gonna get? Right? Yeah. Just go down here, take a right, take another right, it'll be right there. Which is you build safety first? Oh, you're talking about safety? Yes, sir. Mm. We're talking about safety that last time. Which last time? When you used that damn horn right close to my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you back. The balloon fight didn't count. Jump, jump like a, I don't know, like a deer. I'm majestic. <laughs> <laughs> you found it? Not yet. Two inch. You need an inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. This is two inch. It's a little bit too big. Ah, right, yeah. See, inch and three quarters. This is what we need. Hmm. What else? I'm gonna take two. All right. What else? So what was it that you were gonna show me? I'm gonna show you what? I thought you were gonna show me something. Something about the motor. I'm gonna show you what uh, compound turbo Cummins is. You know what? I'm just gonna is wait. Or feel? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait what? until you got your truck running. Uh, right now we use uh, putting everything back together because we already take the pieces uh, the, the pieces we want to take it out so they out already so right now we're just putting everything back uh darwin is working on that that side i'm working on this side so we're trying to finish this thing today so we can be ready you know because we gotta race on saturday all right bro Oops. uh so tomorrow on the green machine we're gonna get the, the engine mounted we got already uh, motor mounts that already came in and a transmission mount for it and uh, we're gonna put the transmission and the motor together wait for for the rest of the suspension to come in So we're gonna remove the old one and we're gonna install the new one. Doesn't look pretty old. It might still work for aluminum. Uh, stainless, she already cut a lot of stainless so Time a new one. It's time for a new one. Let's go more. I don't think this is for metal way. Eh? Oh no. We'll find out in a minute. the way 
not working. Limited lifetime to performance. It's lifetime wait. Alright. Hold on. Let's try it again. I don't think it's doing nothing. Nothing. It's not working. Okay, turn into the next video.